The Ford Tornier Custom is an amazing car, which unfortunately never came in a 4x4 version. We identified the need in the market for a 4x4 increased off-road capacity in such car, and we embraced on a task not easy to convert a transfer engine to a four-wheel drive system. We did it. How? You'll see next. What you see here is the Ford original transmission that has been cut open to engage with a specially produced gear unit to pick up the drive from the crown wheel of the differential. The challenge here was the perfect mesh between the gears of the crown wheel and the pickup unit. And once this challenge is overcome, it's a simple solution and strong and reliable. And here we underneath the car where we can see the cordon shaft receives the drive from the transmission and power takeoff unit and takes it to the rear axle. This, however, is now a completely different setup. The rear axle had to be converted from a passive one into an active one in order to drive the rear wheels. This required a complete new rear axle to be built in order to retain the original suspension points, the attachment points, the geometry and the behavior of the rear suspension as well as the undersprung mass. For the purpose of the drive, we are using Ford original Explorer differential, including the Ford original side shafts, bearing setup, including the brakes and the brake discs. Uh, all replaceable parts by Ford. The differential incorporates a clutch system that is controlled electromechanically with the control unit of our system, which allows us to engage it by the means of electrical signal. Once installed in the car, the system behaves like your personal guardian angel. The control unit would monitor for any loss of traction to engage the system for about 10 seconds. Alternatively, by the choice of a driver, the system can be switched on manually and remain switched on up until 50 kilometers an hour. That's how you never get stuck again. <laughs>